Hi everyone and welcome to this introduction for the MDT panic functionality. Today we'll be taking a quick look through the new functionality and I'll be showing you how to configure it. So the first place we want to be going is the MDT config. Now there's a few new lines uh, in the MDT config. Um, so people who are already using the MDT um, prior to this update coming out will need to add these new lines to their config. So here we can see the config um, file that comes with the MDT. So yours might be slightly different to this depending on what values you've put in it. So the new lines we're looking at are these ones here, any line that starts with pa panic. So if we go through these one by one, I'll just explain what they mean. They're fairly self-explanatory, but we'll have a quick, quick look at them anyway. So panic command. So this is, you can configure the command that's used um, in game uh, for opening the uh, panic functionality. Uh, you can see the default there is just panic. And you don't need to put the slash there. Um, the, the, the MDT will do that for you. Uh, next is the key binding. Um, currently that's set to F7. That's configurable. And uh, I'll put a link in the video description to the page where you can see uh, what values you need for different key bindings. Uh, next is whether the MDT should flash when a panic has been initiated. Um, if that's set to true, then the border of the MDT will flash um, to alert to everybody that there's a panic ongoing. And uh, similarly with uh, play tone, uh, you can set whether, whether or not a tone should play. Um, so an alert tone within game. Uh, next is the duration. So this is just basically saying how long the flashing and the tone should, should happen for. Uh, the default there is 10 seconds. And finally, uh, whether the MDT, MDT should create a marker and a route for uh, any officers that are assigned to the panic call. So as you'll see in a moment, um, certain officers will be assigned to a panic call when one's created. Um, and this option here just determines whether they will automatically have a route set to that panic call within, within their map. So that's the config. So that hopefully will uh, explain how you need to set this up. Once you've done that, we can now look at the new additional preferences within the CAD. So let's head over there. OK, so here we are in the CAD now and we're looking at the new preferences for the panic functionality. So the idea is that you don't want when a panic is initiated, you don't want everyone in game to be assigned to that call just selected people. So in here you can configure which unit types and which unit states should be assigned. So a unit that has a specific type that you specify here or several types and the unit states will be assigned. So you can see here I've said I've said that any units that have a type of one unit type one and a unit state of one should be assigned to a panic call. So that way you can prevent everybody being assigned and just uh, do it very selectively. And you can see here it says that only the units with the selected type and state will be assigned. And also you can specify whether the unit that the officer who's initiated the panic is in should have their state set to the panic state. So if an officer is in unit X, you're saying here whether unit X should be set to have a panic state. So those are the new options for the panic button. Uh, so next we'll go over into the MDT and see how this all comes together. OK, so here we are in game and you can see that uh, I, my, my officer rather, is a member of Charlie Foxtrot unit. Um, and we've got two other units, Alpha Bravo and Echo Zulu. Um, as we saw in the CAD a short while ago, units with a state of one um, and a unit type of one are assigned to any panic calls that are initiated. And we've also got it set up that our um, unit, uh, Charlie Foxtrot in this case, uh, should have its state set to panic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate a panic. Um, we'll see what happens in the MDT. And what we should see is Alpha Bravo should be assigned the panic call. Uh, and my unit, Charlie Foxtrot, should have its state set to panic. So I've obviously got three ways of doing this. I can either use the, the command or the key binding or the panic button. So what I'm going to do in this case is just click the panic button. So I'm going to click that now. So 
So what we can hear now is the panic tone. And as we saw in the config, that'll last for 10 seconds. And also the MDT border was flashing there as well. Uh, so what we can also see is the Alpha, Bar Alpha Bravo unit has been assigned the call um, and they will have had any officers who are in that unit will have had um, markers and routes set to the location, my current location. Um, and you can see because my unit in our config is set to um, be assigned the emergency state it now has and we've got a red border there to show that. And in the CAD, we can see that the officer emergency call has been created uh, with a note of who the initiating officer was. Uh, we can see that Alpha Bravo has been assigned the call and we can also see that Charlie Foxtrot is in a panic state indicated by the red color there. So that's really the uh, panic functionality and how it works. Um, I hope you'll find it fun and uh, thanks very much for watching.